Cancer is the most common type of cancer in American men behind skin cancer. This year alone, there are expected to be close to 233,000 newly diagnosed cases. Although this number is high, prostate cancer death rates are still relatively low. Roughly 98.9% .9 of men diagnosed with the disease will survive for five years or longer, a rate that many medical professionals will attribute to PSA screening. Despite health experts having claimed PSA testing to be the best available method to screen men for prostate cancer, there has been a long-standing debate surrounding its use in regular screening. PSA screening can create false positive test results, meaning men can be made aware of cancers that are not actually present. In addition, critics claim that the test can lead to overdiagnosis, compelling men to volunteer for unnecessary treatment. These factors have supported recommendations against routine prostate cancer screening. In 2012, the U.S. Preventive Services Task Force issued a recommendation against PSA-based screening for prostate cancer for men of all ages that are asymptomatic. Many in the medical community were critical about these new guidelines. In a response published in the Annals of Internal Medicine, since considering that prostate cancer does not often present with symptoms in its early stages, eliminating reimbursement for PSA testing would take us back to a time when prostate cancer was only discovered in its most advanced and incurable stages.